Hi, welcome you all again, friends. In this class, I will tell you about the rationalization of numbers. Now, this topic rationalization will be covered under two heads. First will be the rationalization of pure recurring. Second will be the rationalization of impure recurring. In the last video, I told you what pure recurring non-terminating decimals are and what impure recurring non-terminating decimals are. These both things I have told you. Let us write an example of pure recurring decimals. You can write it as 1.838383. So, how are we going to rationalize this number? So, suppose this number is equal to n is equal to 1.838383. This is a very basic thing. Many of you have seen this. So, if you have seen this, you can just repeat it once again. n is equal to 1.838383. We have to rationalize this number. Now, what are rational numbers? All those numbers that can be denoted in the form of p upon q, where q is not equal to 0, and p and q are integers. So, we have to denote this number in the form of p upon q something like this where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 so let us try n is equal to 1.838383 how many numbers are repeating themselves after decimal 8383838383 it is the pair of 83 that is repeating itself or recurring itself again and again so this number can also be written as something like this, 1.83 bar. Now, in order to solve it, how many numbers are repeating itself? Two numbers. So, 2 times 0. That means 10 to the power 2 or 100. We are going to multiply this number n by 100. So, I multiplied it by 100. So, how much it will become? It will become 183, 0.838383, so on. So, this is the number. n is equal to 1.838383. What we have done? We multiplied it by 100. When we multiplied it by 100, how much it became? 183.838383838383. 83. Now, next thing, what I am going to do? My objective was to eliminate the decimal part. Because if I want to rationalize a number, that means in order to rationalize a decimal, we have to convert that decimal in the form of P upon Q where p and q both are integers and q is not equal to 0. So if p and q both are integers, our first priority will be to eliminate this decimal part. That means we have to eliminate this 8383838383 which is coming after this decimal. And in order to eliminate this 0.838383 we need to have two different equations in which in both the decimal parts there is 0.838383. Then only it, it, it is going to cancel themselves. So in the first part, what I did, I multiplied this number by 100. Why multiply this, this number by 100? Because there are two numbers that are repeating themselves again and again. So two zeros. So multiply it by 100. And n is equal to 1.838383. So consider this first equation as equation number 1. And consider the second equation as equation number 2. And do one thing. Subtract the first equation from second equation. This equation, first equation is subtracted from the second equation. Now what is the traditional method of subtracting? The LHS of the first equation will be subtracted from the LHS of the second equation and the RHS that is the right hand side of the first equation will be subtracted from the right hand side of the second equation. So what is the left hand side of the first equation? N. And what is the right hand, left hand side of the second equation? 100N. So it will be something like this. 100N minus N equals to what is? the right hand side of second equation we are doing second minus first so the right hand side of second equation is 183.838383 so on minus what is the right hand side of the first equation 1.838383 so i wrote it like this so on subtracting it 100 and minus n will come out as 99 n and what will be this come out as this point part, 0.838383 and this point part, 0.838383 will cancel out themselves. And this was my basic objective. In order to convert a decimal 
in p upon q form where p and q both are integers and q is not equal to 0 our first priority is to eliminate this decimal part and in order to eliminate this decimal part we need two independent equations and in both the equations the decimal part must be same then only if we are going to subtract one from the other then the decimal part will get eliminated so that is why I tried something in order to make the decimal part in both the equations same and that is what I did here so after subtracting I will get something like this 183 minus 1 which will become 182 so 99n is equal to 182 so n will come out as 182 upon 99 this is the rationalized form of which number this number 1.83838383883 so this is the traditional method of rationalization or of rationalizing a pure recurring non-terminating decimal now this is the traditional method there is also a shortcut method what is that shortcut method i will do it by this also suppose the number is 1.838383 i am writing as a 83 bar this thing and this thing are the same which two numbers are repeating? We have to simply put it there and make a bar. Now, the shortcut of this number is, I will write it something like this, 1 plus 0.83 bar. Now, how many numbers are there? Two numbers. What will we do? We will remove this decimal and we will write it something like this, 1 plus, we will take it 83, remove this decimal and below it. How many numbers are there? Two numbers. So the amount of numbers, we will place that amount of 9 below it. So I will write here 99. And then I will solve it. And when I will solve it, I will get 182 by 99. So this is the shortcut of solving this. What is this? The pure recurring non-terminating decimal. This is the rationalization of pure recurring non-terminating decimals. I hope you understood it. I will explain to you once again. Here, it was 1.83838383. That 83 was repeating it itself numerous times. What I did? I repeated it and two numbers were repeating. Which one of those two numbers? 83. 83, 83, 83. So, what I did? Those two numbers, that means two zeros. That means I multiplied that number by 100. 100n, 183.838383, this was the equation form. Now, the first equation was n is equals to 1.838383, that was the first, and second equation is 100n is equals to 183.838383. What is common in these both two equations? The common part is the decimal point, 0.838383 and 0.838383. When we will subtract these two equations, this 0.838383 in both the equations will get eliminated. And what we will get? We will get 100n minus n on the left hand side, that is 99n. And on the right side, we will get 182. So the rationalized form will be n is equal to 182 by 199. This is the very traditional method of doing it. The shortcut of doing it is something like this, n is equal to 1.83 bar. So I will write it as 1 plus 0.83 bar and 1 plus 83 upon. We remove this dot sign. These two digits were repeating. So how many times? A particular digit is repeating that is 83 was the couplet that was repeating in this number so in this couplet two numbers were there so two numbers 9 I am going to put in denominator and I will solve this 1 plus 83 by 99 and I will get it as 182 by 99 and this will be my answer the rationalized form of this number that is 1.83 bar so this is the method of doing rationalization of pure recurring decimals I will take one more example I will not jump on to impure recurring decimal right now I will take one example of pure recurring decimal more and after that I will jump on to impure recurring decimal. So I will take one more example. If you write to write it down, you will write it down. I will give you half a minute to write it.
Five more examples. M. One point. Five point seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. So on. Can also write it as five point seven eight nine bar. Which type of decimal this is? This is pure recurring decimal. Pure recurring non-terminating decimal. PR. Pure recurring. I am writing it. So 5.789789789. This is the number. In order to convert it in a rational form, something like this, P upon Q, where P and Q both are integers and Q is not equal to 0. What will be my first priority? My first priority will be to eliminate this decimal part. In order to eliminate this decimal part, what was the first step that I did in the last tutorial? The very first step was that I have to see how many digits are occurring them, are re re recurring themselves in groups. Here you can just see that this group, 789, is recurring itself again and again. 789, 789, 789, 789. So, 789 are 3 numbers. That means 3 times 0. 3 times 0 is 10 to the power 3 or 1000. So I am going to multiply this number n by 1000. I am marking this equation as equation number 1. And 1000 n, I am multiplying it. It will become 5789.789, so on. 789, so on. So this will be equation number 2. Again, I will subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2. LHS from LHS, 1000N minus N and RHS from RHS. What is the RHS? 5789. I am directly writing this. This decimal part will be eliminated. 0 0.789, 0 0.799 is present in this 1000N also. And N also, 5. 0.789789 so this 0.789789 is present in first equation also and in second equation also so obviously it will get cancelled what will remain 5879 minus 5 we are going to solve it it will be 999n equals to 5784 so the answer will come out as n is equals to 5784 upon 999 this is the traditional way of solving this thing what was the shortcut way? I told you. Shortcut way, you have tried this number as 5.789 bar. What will it come out as? 5 plus 789 by 999. When you are going to solve this number, you are going to get 5784 upon 999. This is the shortcut of solving this. Now, this is the second example of pure recurring non-terminating decimal. In my next video tutorial, I will take examples and traditional and both shortcuts of impure recurring non-terminating decimals. So, kindly keep checking my blog. You will find this video tutorial soon. And thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial.